Welcome back guys. For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use pagination in your app. Or in other words, how to load more data as you scroll to the bottom of a table view. Now, I already created the app already just to show you guys how it will look like at the end. Um, I created it right here. So basically what this app is doing is it's just adding more numbers to the table view as I scroll to the bottom. So when I scroll to the bottom of the table view, more numbers will be displayed. So once I reach 15, we'll add more numbers. Once we 24, more numbers. And we'll just keep going on and on as I scroll to the bottom and more data is being added to the table view. So let's get started. Let's do this. Okay, so I already added the basics to this project already, such as the table view, um, set the delegated data source, added these two functions right here, and created a data array, which pretty much self-explanatory, this array will hold the data that's going to go in the table view. So you can just pause the video and copy it right now. So I'm going to go to the next step. The function that we're going to be needing for pagination to work is uh, the will display cell right here, table view. There are many ways to do pagination, but for this particular video, I'm going to show you this uh, certain way. Um, there are other ways out there, you can just look it up, but this is the easiest and most basic thing to understand. So yeah, the first thing we're going to type is, is we're going to grab the last item in our data. So uh, let last item equals to data that count minus one. Now this will get us the last item, obviously, in our data. Okay, and then we're gonna check if the current row that's about to be displayed is equal to last item. And then here, this is where you want to want to uh, display or not display, um, request more information. So request more information and uh, reload your table view just to load the new information. Now let's create a function for that. So load more data. All right. And here I'm going to create a basic for loop just for the purposes of this video. Now in this loop, I'm going to uh, add more numbers to our existing data array. So I'm just going to say let last item equals to uh, our array dot last. In this case, we get 15, right, for the first iteration. And then we're going to create a new number equals to uh, last item or 15 plus 1. And then we're going to simply add this new number to our array. So data dot append new element and new number. Now to add the, after this loop, we're going to refresh our table view. Okay. The error should go away, except for this one right here, because we're not using i, but that's okay. It's just a warning. And here we're going to call this function. And yeah, let's run it. Okay, so the app uh, built successfully, and this is pretty much it. Just how I showed you earlier in the video, it's pretty much the exact same thing. And all you really needed was this function right here and these uh, two lines of code. Because this function right here, you, you'll create on your own because I'm not sure how you're using it in your apps. You may be working with uh, an API or local data, it's up to you. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick tutorial. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.